y buenas noches. Hoy en día en las noticias. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Today in the news, a look at the Occupy movements around the world. The movement is an international protest movement which is primarily directed against economic and social inequality. The first Occupy protest to be widely covered was Occupy Wall Street in New York City, taking place on September 17, 2011. Octo by October 9th, Occupy protests had taken place over place or were ongoing in over 95 cities across 82 countries and over 600 communities in the United States. These places including Oakland and Stockholm, Sweden. The phrase, the 99%, is a political slogan used by protesters of the Occupy movement. It was originally launched as a Tumblr blog page in August of 2011. It refers to the concentration of wealth among the top 1% of income earners compared to the other 99%. On scene at the Occupy movements in our, is our gifted teleporting reporter, Mohammed. Mohammed? How's it going, sir? All right, how's it going? What is your name? I'm Mark. Ah, let how's me stand up for you. Okay. Uh, so you're here for the Occupy movement, right? Yes, sir. Occupy Oakland, sir. Occupy okay. Oakland. Um, how long have you been with the Occupy movement? Uh, I've been here since, uh, let's see, we started back in October 10th, and uh, we were rallying with about 100 people, hundreds, hundreds of people, and we're here to Occupy uh, to make a statement for the 99%. How did the Occupy movement grow? Uh, the Occupy movement grow, um, we've been taking the movement in different actions. We've been uh, marching and having rallies, and uh, we're going to have guest speakers like Danny Glover and uh, the three Americans that were uh, locked up in Iran came out and gave us a... Uh, a good speech and uh, even hip-hop artists like Lupe Fiasco came out and donated some food and goods and stuff. Okay, uh, my next question. What is the Occupy, uh, Oakland Occupy movement made up of? Uh, there's, there's all types of people out here. There's students, there's professionals, uh, like teachers, unemployed, even homeless people are coming around. You know, just uh, sharing the love out here. And uh, we have about like 150 tents. Uh, here's one of them as you can see right here. Um, uh, and we're just we're just here to, you know, welcome protesters and, and visitors to see what this whole movement's about. Has the law tried to stop the uh, movement? Yeah, I remember uh, October 25th, uh, they came and uh, they came to, uh, they, they came in riot gear and uh, came in the morning. There was like 500 police officers and uh, they uh, did all types of stuff and uh, they That's had a clash with the, wrong, with, the, with the protesters and like police and stuff and uh, even uh, Scott Olson, like the, the Iraqi veteran, um, he suffered a, a, a skull fracture. He's all beaten up and all types of stuff. It was crazy. What happened during the strike? Uh, the general strike uh, on November 22nd, on November 2nd, actually, uh, the Port of Oakland. There was a bunch of us. We all just rallied out there. There's probably about th thousands of us. And uh, we were just there to empower citizens and to draw attention uh, to the uh, economic and uh, to the economic uh, inequality and uh, corporate greed. Okay, what are your feelings toward Mayor Jean Kwan's for allowing police in intervention? Um, law enforcement uh, once again came and uh, cleared the protest uh, at the Frank Gallo Plaza on November 14th. Uh, mayor Jean Kwan's decision to allow the police intervention uh, resulted in like the mayor's uh, um, unpaid legal uh, advisor to resign and also uh, the deputy mayor. Um, in the last encampment now, um, well, we recently had was at Snow Park, and uh, they cleared us out too on November 21st. So uh, obviously, uh, there's there's not really a movement, much movement going on here, but uh, we're still trying to get it back. Okay, and uh, where is the Occupy o Oakland movement now? So uh, for about a week now, we've been planning uh, to do this uh, fat uh, blockade, and it's it's about to be called the uh, the West Coast Port Blockade and shutdown on, uh, and we're gonna do this on December uh, 12th, and. Uh, all cities all over the West Coast are involved, from LA, San Diego to Portland. Uh, what is the reason for this blockade? Well, we're we're striking uh, again for uh, against the violence, um, the the violence, the police violence, and uh, uh, fighting up for the nationally uh, coordinated attack on the Occupy movement, and also uh, the evictions of the uh, against the Occupy movement. What do you think is going to happen at these ports? Well, uh, I have I have a, a vision that there's going to be a thousands and thousands of people at all these ports just occupying each uh, each location and uh, once again just standing up for the 99 percent okay well there you have it thank you mark um, these ports are public and they have the right to come uh, people have the right to come to the por ports and protest 
Now we're here in New York where the original Occupy Wall Street movement started. And we have one of the protesters here with us. What is your name, sir? My name is Alex, and I'm here with Occupy Wall Street. Woo! Protest! Woo! Woo! Protest! Yeah! <laughs> What is the purpose of this Occupy Wall Street movement? It's to protest against against the economic and social in inequality and to uh, undo the influence corporations have on the government. When and where did the Occupy Wall Street movement start? This all started a couple months ago, you know, uh, on September 17th. It was um, right here in Zuccotti Park in New York. Okay, uh, do you guys have any other plans for this uh, New York Occupy Wall Street movement? Uh, we plan to protest against the corporate food, uh, corruption on the food industry in December, and then we also, we're planning, it, we're calling it the Farmer's March to fight the manipulation of agriculture, uh, which is responsible for using chemicals that causes diabetes, obesity, and heart disease, and it's not allowing uh, poor families to have access to organic foods. Okay, and uh, how has the affected police, or how has this affected police and crime rates? Hold on one second. All right, the Occupy movement has increased crime rates in New York. Uh, also, this uh, New York has given cops millions of dollars in overtime pay and over 4,000 people were arrested as of, 2000, or as of October 27th. By now the number is probably twice as much. And where is this Occupy Wall Street getting its funding? Uh, most of it's coming from people just making their donations middle class. They're making a, donations of about $20 a person and it has over $600,000 right now. And we're using that to fund stuff like our uh, People's Library. <laughs> and. It's just a tent with a bunch of books and we get free Wi-Fi, it's pretty sweet. Oh, free Wi-Fi, that's nice. Yeah, how I long? love free Wi-Fi, you know, check Facebook, tell the homies, check my status. How long has the Occupy Wall Street movement been going on? Uh, it's been going on in New York for about 77 days uh, and it doesn't show any signs of stopping now. Alright, thank you. Well, there you have it, that's in New York where the Occupy Wall Street movement began. Hi, Mom! Yeah. Occupy! <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> now we are here in Stockholm, Sweden, where we have one of the protesters. Could you state your name, sir? My name is Mike. Um, here, you want to hold it? Oh. Okay, Mike. Uh, what are you guys about? Well, we're a flat resistance movement uh, promoting democracy in this in Stockholm. That's all we need. Okay. What are the current, or uh, what are some problems facing the current system? Well, you know, I'm going to be able to say this, that when 1% one decides, 120,000 million Swedish crowns is dedicated to save our finances, that's according to the International Monetary Fund, right? Fighting poverty would cost like uh, 1, uh, 1,140 billion crowns per year, and we, 99%, would rather see poverty go. That's, that's kind of worth that. Do we need a new system here in Stockholm? Uh, well, you can patch up parts of the system to make it work better. Unfortunately, it's the, it's the culture uh, at all times to maximize short-term gain. The economic system is not part of nature without any man-made. It, it, it's, it is a system with their own lives. The market can no longer be understood. Um, so, therefore, therefore, control is partly controlled by algorithm with millisecond fast trans 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 transactions. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a really bad. Thing. Okay, and uh, how can you implement the new system? I think a fair distribution of Earth, Earth resources without political pressure on slavery to finance is a vision that probably most parts of society speak for genuine democracy. The society can be a place where uh, people gather to feel happy and free. Uh, maybe a society can be a place where people gather for the access to water, food, warmth, shelter, more than, uh, than uh, uh, the monetary gains. Uh, a place where people gather to meet intellectual things such as morality, uh, intimate relationships and love. Love would be a good thing in this, in this uh, 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 movement, you know. And finally, why Stockholm, Sweden? Um, I think people in many parts uh, of the world living under uh, devastating circumstances 
uh, there is a reason to think it over and how the system works. But above all, all, all the speed suite is affected by outside world. Uh, is the reality we live in now a reality for tomorrow? I think Occupy Sweden is the platform that brings uh, together people to meet and discuss this regardless of ideology, political orientation, religion, faith. You know, we gather 99% of people. And are there any resources that you need here? I, I knew you would ask that question, dude. Uh, I actually prepared a, a list just in case because we do suffer from a few things. But I highlight the most important things that, that we've published online. And uh, uh, our priority list uh, consists of a few things, but mostly we need a crowbar. Uh, and priority number two are torches, uh, propane gas tank, uh, preferably a large one if, you, if we can get that. that <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Occ Thanks. Occupy, dude. Occupy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. And there you have it from Stockholm, Sweden. Back to you, Tanner. Thank you, Mohammed. Coming up at 11, a local claims to have spotted Bigfoot? We've got the exclusive interview here. For that and more, stay tuned at Channel 7 News. I'm Tanner Reddy. Good night.